Good day class. In this video, we will continue the derivation of the inverse kinematics of a given mechanical manipulator. Okay. For this uh, video, our mechanical manipulator is the cylindrical manipulator. Okay. So this is our cylindrical manipulator. Is what we need. It's just the frame, the base frame, okay? The base frame only and the manipulator itself. And we will redraw it to into uh, top view and front view, okay? So, I will redraw it first at uh, top view, okay? Into top view. To derive the solution for the inverse kinematics of this uh, mechanical manipulator. Okay. So, we will use the, the Pythagorean theorem, Sokatoa, and the law of cosine here. So, to use those uh, trigonometric uh, functions or tools we need to have a right triangle or a triangle okay so based on this uh, figure i rotated the top view of the cylindrical manipulator up clockwise okay so it means uh, theta one has a value near 45 degrees Okay, to sh to make it possible to have a right triangle. Okay, so in a minute. Okay, so let me change this uh, drawing. Okay, so it should be look like this. This sub three should be look like this. Okay. The other draw the double-headed arrow is also correct, but uh, let's uh, make it uh, standard so that you will not uh, be confused okay, with our other illustrations. Okay. So, we will need to have a right triangle or a triangle. So, based on this drawing, we have already looked like a uh, hypotenuse. Okay. So, this is the end effector. At the end effector, if we notice along y sub 0, along y sub 0, this is the y03. Okay, this is the y03. The coordinate y03 or the element y03. Next. Okay, again from the end effector along x sub 0 axis, the horizontal line is the is the x03 okay so this is x03 so x03 and y03 is given because they are the elements of the position vector okay so let's redraw it again okay. so we have here a right triangle okay we have here a right a right triangle so because of this uh, right triangle we can now solve for theta one okay by using uh, sokatoa the tangent formula Okay, so theta 1 is equals to inverse tangent of 
y zero three over x zero three. Okay, we already derive the solution for theta one. So it is a inverse tangent of y zero three over x zero three. So let's put it inside a box. Okay, so because of this solution or equation. It will be our number one solution to be solved. Okay, so theta one is equals to inverse tangent y zero three over x zero three. Okay, next. So, ah, we have a given value for y zero three and x zero three as well. Ah. If we uh if we use the inverse tangent or if we use the tangent formula, we will get theta one. Okay. So the other uh the other part which which is missing is the hypotenuse or the other side which is missing is the hypotenuse. We all know that uh along the hypotenuse we have a three and d three. Okay, we have a three and d three. So a three and d three, or a three plus d three, is equals. Okay, is equals to the square root. Okay, square. Ah, sorry. Yes, it is equals to the square root of x zero three squared, and plus y zero three squared. Okay, so it came from Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so this is from the Pythagorean theorem. Sorry. Oops. Okay. So this is from the Pythagorean theorem. So we will solve for d sub three. So d sub three is equals to square root of x zero three squared plus y zero three squared, then minus a sub three. Okay. So this will be our solution for the joint variable d sub three. Okay, it is uh what we need to solve the d sub three. Okay. D sub three. Let's color it indigo. Then put it inside a box. Okay. So this is number two. Okay. So the inverse kinematics of Cartesian of cylindrical manipulator is also easy to solve based on the. It's on the figure of the cylindrical at top view. Okay. Next. So, at top view, we don't have the d sub 2. We only have theta 1 and d sub 3. So, d sub 2 is at the front view. Okay. So, let's change the arrow. Indicate the indicator. Okay. Should be look like this, and this should be look like this. Okay. Oh. Okay, so along the sub zero axis, we we have the ah x ah z zero three, okay, the z zero three ah z zero three coordinate, 
or value or element okay from the end effector along the z03 from the end effector to the base along z0 okay we have z03 okay so base on this drawing z03 is equals to a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus d sub 2 based on this drawing c03 is equals to a sub 1 okay d03 is equals to a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus d sub 2 okay then Our joint variable is d sub 2. We need to solve for d sub 2. So if we arrange our equation, so this will become d sub 2 is equals to z03 minus a sub 1 minus a sub 2. Okay. So this is the solution for joint variable d sub 2 so this will be our third equation okay so these are the equations for the inverse kinematic solution of cylindrical manipulator okay so this is the second uh, ECS manipulator to solve in uh, to solve the inverse kinematics okay so theta 1 is equals to inverse tangent y03 over x03 d3 is equals to square root of x03 squared plus y03 squared minus a, minus a sub 3 okay then d sub 2 is equals to z03 minus a sub 1 minus a sub 2 okay